There is nothing more prestigious than this. We await this year's UEFA Champions League final here at the magnificent Metropolitano Stadium in the Spanish capital, Madrid. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined for commentary as always on these occasions by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Liverpool up against Juventus. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. Champions League final stage, a team of natural winners. Yeah, juggernaut of Italian football. They'll be confident they're going into this final, full of confidence, full of good results. Can they go that extra yard? So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Dejan Lovren in central defence. Virginia Wijnaldum starts with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Miralem Pjanic starts alongside Blaise Matuidi in the centre of the pitch. And leading the attack today is the heart to contain Cristiano Ronaldo. And now the Champions League final commences. It's with Dybala. Joao Cancelo. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's what they're doing. Ronaldo! A goal for the Bianconeri. Goal for Juventus in the Champions League final. Well, finals are for heroes. Is that the goal that lifts the trophy? We'll wait and see. Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, Liverpool find themselves still very much in this game. Such fine margins between success and failure at this level. They need to stick to the game plan and hope it turns around in that second half. It's a weighted pass. He just needs to stay level-headed now. And the goal has been scored by Mohamed Salah. Again, once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. A chance to revisit the goal. Joao Cancelo and putting his body on the line and it's gone in from Pjanic <laughs> 
Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's a highly promising Liverpool attack. And a chance to level it. Might be a chance here. Henderson. It's there for him. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. He used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Matsuidi dispossessed. Wijnaldum. Mohamed's well he's opened up the defence here it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper and Liverpool are level well it's not a brilliant goal but it's a goal it's in the back of the net keeper couldn't do anything about it well let's take another look at that goal shall we Dybala and Cristiano Ronaldo waiting and the defender takes care of business Roberto Firmino this is Salah looking confident with the ball at his feet see this again and it's inches from going wide it doesn't hit the post and goes in keeper is distraught well the goal again albeit from a different angle Juventus on the front foot, but they've got to take advantage of these opportunities. The keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, I really thought, Derek, that was the equaliser. Remarkable save from the keeper. Nani Keita. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Ronaldo feeds it. Dybala purposefully and dispossessed well this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise corner delivered by Milan Pjanic attending to his defensive chores how about this England's most successful European club have done it again Liverpool, the winners of the Champions League. Well, some might say back to where they belong. An absolutely brilliant night. Capped off with winning the trophy. Commiserations for their opposition, but at the moment it's all about celebration for those boys. Yeah, that is precisely what they intend to do, Lee. Celebrate long into the evening. Liverpool, the victors. As a player, and in this case as a Liverpool player, you've got to prepare yourself for the trophy lift. Well, yeah, this is where you want to be the captain. Sometimes it's a hindrance because everybody's looking at you for a bit of inspiration. But you get to do this. You get to pick up this magnificent trophy and celebrate with your teammates. Liverpool this year have painted Europe red. It's official now. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, certainly the red half of Liverpool and Merseyside will be celebrating tonight. 
not so sure about the Everton fans, but even they might celebrate a little bit. Look up with the big ears as it's affectionately known. This is the moment now in sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. So now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it, the Champions League victors for 2019.